Hi everyone, I'm Lori Ellison from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. We specialize in mental health practice bookkeeping. In this series, we are going to teach you how to set up a brand new QuickBooks Online file in 2024. It will be a multiple part series, so please um, watch the playlist as we add videos. All right, let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Lori Ellison from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. We specialize in mental health practices, and this is a series of videos on how to set up a QuickBooks Online file in 2024 for your mental health practice. Okay, we're gonna start from the beginning, but here's the plan. We're gonna pick the correct version, we're gonna change the customer setting to patient, and we'll talk about initial setup. So just go and type in QuickBooks Online. It'll take you to their software. Okay. So let's look at the plans. Now it's not, on some of the websites, there are, some for like a solopreneur or something less expensive than Simple Start. But I don't want you to do that because then you can never upgrade into Simple Start Plus or Advanced. And you just, you never know where you're gonna go later. So just stay away from that plan. And it's not even showing it here. So I just wanna see, oh, solopreneur or self-employed. Don't get those because you may be a solopreneur right now, and like many of my clients, in a couple of years, you may change uh, your mind and decide to scale up and suddenly have employees and all kinds of other things, and you will have started out in the wrong format, and you cannot upgrade. So what I would say, and this video is mostly for uh, single practitioners, is that I mean, it could be for any, but I'm kind of gearing it to that. I would pick Simple Start. You can always move up later, but in the beginning, if it's just yourself and maybe you have one employee or one other uh, person, I would start with Simple Start. You can always upgrade. Okay, so we would click Select. So right here, it's Offering Payroll. Even if you were going to do payroll, I would wait and not add it at this moment. And I think their payroll is very good, but that's like a whole different video about payroll setup and it would be a lot. But if I were to pick payroll, I would do either premium or elite. I would not do core. First off, because you don't have enough experience in that you're in mental health, you don't know all the rules of your state and all the pitfalls and the core. They don't take responsibility so much as if you were doing premium or elite. So you get a lot more support with the setup and so forth. So I would say continue without payroll. I mean, we're already trying to buy it, so I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so what it's giving you for your first three months is 50% off and then it'll go to $30 a month plus tax. A key thing to know, if you've ever bought or have any type of QuickBooks or Intuit account, maybe you had tried once before, um, in, in any case, if you think you've had one, you should try and figure out your login. So you would click sign in, which I'm going to do, but I'm not going to show, and then reset your password, and it'll probably show your old files that you don't want to use, but otherwise, you won't be able to create a new file if you have already a login set up with your current email. So just keep that in mind. You could get stuck in this section for a little bit. So if you think you have, try and sign in, try and figure out the password. And if you've never been here before, you're just going to do, you're going to set it up here. You just enter your email, your phone and password. I already, I'm gonna connect this to a current email. So I'm gonna click sign. Okay, so now I'm to the page where it asked me if I wanted to create a new company and I said yes. And now you will enter your billing information and your credit card.
So you just have to give it a minute while it spins. Don't click anywhere or close the window. Okay, in these questions, just remember, you don't need to tell the software anything you don't want to tell it. Um, nothing is mandatory. It's just QuickBooks, like gathering data about businesses. Okay, so hopefully you're starting this at the, in January or only a couple months later. I would not recommend um, converting a file. I used to convert files all the time. I have found that it's really way too much work and I really just wouldn't recommend it at this time. It's asking you these questions. It doesn't really matter how you answer. Again, it doesn't matter. Pick whatever you want. Okay, so here it's asking, are you a sole proprietor, partnership, S-corp, nonprofit? We wouldn't be a nonprofit. You could be a C-corp, a sole proprietor, partnership, S-corp. But again, it doesn't totally matter. Um, I'm going to say S-corp. We're gonna pick this one, Offices of Physicians, Mental Health Specialists. This can help do help your chart of accounts. Like, and what is a chart of accounts? It's like um, a set of codes for your income and expenses. Okay, so right now we're gonna say you have no employees. We're gonna say you're a business of one. Okay, don't connect anything right now. This is way too soon to connect an app. All right, let's talk HIPAA. You should not be invoicing patients through QuickBooks Online. It is not HIPAA compliant. So let's just get that out of the way right away. Um, so you should not send and track invoices and you should not accept payments. You really need to use an outside software for the billing and not incorporate your QuickBooks Online for payments. You just really always think of HIPAA and all of this. And as of now, January 7th, 2024, QuickBooks Online is not HIPAA compliant. So you have to use an outside billing software. I'm going to make some videos about some of those, but just remember your invoicing to patients should not be in QuickBooks. You don't want their names in here at all. So it keeps asking a lot of questions, and some of these are just having to do with more things um, that you can incorporate into QuickBooks Online, such as you know taking copies of receipts with your phone and the app. My recommendation is when you're first starting, don't go app crazy or try and use every gadget while you're learning this software. That's where most people get confused. And then they scan it with their phone and they enter it through the bank feed and maybe they hand enter it. And all of a sudden they have their expenses entered two and three times. So try to stay away from all the snazzy things in the beginning and try and work on understanding what you're actually doing. Okay, so we picked the correct version. I was going to do this. I'll, I'll show you what it is, but I honestly don't want you now, I'm going to take that out. I don't want to teach you about changing the customer setting because you shouldn't be posting patients' names inside your QuickBooks Online. And let's just look at initial setup. I will cover linking a bank account and posting in part two. Okay, let's look at the settings. I'm going to click the gear icon, click account and settings. We're not going to do invoices, so you don't need to enter your a customer facing address. You could put your legal address, but most of the things in here, you're not going to need. We've picked our industry. Okay, QuickBooks checking. Be really careful. This is actually setting up for a brand new bank account. Like you have a bank account at Chase, you could end up 
If you click sign up, you're going to actually have a bank account. It's with some other. Let's just see what it says. Just don't do it because I trained someone. And what happened was, yeah, green dot bank. And you're going to get a debit card and they're going to try and get you to. What happened was I was training someone and I, I was poking around in their cookbooks. I'm like, what is this? And she didn't even realize that she was having half her sales deposited at that bank account. So just watch that. Don't be careful what you click and touch. The other thing is payments. You shouldn't be using QuickBooks payments because again, it's not HIPAA compliant. Go to advanced. These are the one thing I would change is most, um, if you're a solo or a single practitioner, unless you're hitting over a couple million a year, you're gonna be probably cash. Double check with your CPA, but this will, that's called your basis. I like to enable account numbers, but sometimes the funny thing is they don't always show up. We have pre-fill forms with previously entered content. That's fine. I would turn this off. This has to do with bill pay. So QuickBooks is in a lot of businesses such as insurance, payroll, checking accounts, payment processing. So you do need to be a little careful about everything you've done. Okay, so this is now your part one of QuickBooks Online. All right, please post your questions in the comment section. All right, have a great day.